Next up, something very, very important. If you enjoy your hockey, if you enjoy seeing it on TV, if you want to see more hockey on TV, please go to the Hockey Zone website, hockeyzone.org.au. Click on the survey, complete the survey, get your friends, get your family, get everybody you know who follows the game, everyone you know who wants to follow the game, and ensure that we're back here on TV for you to enjoy next year. Hockey Zone needs your help. As we have no viewing figures for the TV coverage, we desperately need to find out how many people are watching so we can head in the right direction next year. Are you watching on TV for me? Community TV? Or YouTube? We need to know. Please take just 30 seconds to fill out the survey on our website. Just click on the survey tab in the menu, click the boxes that represent you, leave us a message and hit submit. But we need every viewer to fill it out. If there are five of you in your house, do it five times. If you've only watched once, still do it. If you want to continue to watch Hockey Zone, you must fill in the survey. Don't wait. Do it now, before it's too late. And this week's BHL game is Kedron versus Easts. Kedron again continuing to attack that left-hand side of the field and doing fairly well until that last moment. And East pushed forward. It's Mackenzie Warren with the circle entry. Ball to... Blake Witherspoon, that uh, might be... the first penalty corner for the evening. As it comes out, it's well trapped, it's laid off. It's a hit from... It is a hit there from uh, Farrell and fairly straightforward penalty corner. It came out, Weber broke from the battery, laid off to Farrell. Farrell with a straight hit, one goal to nil Easts. Kedron are getting the ball back into play and it's another turnover immediately by Boyd. Boyd finds Weber in the circle alone. Weber, though, is met with a very effective save. You come away with the ball, they do so by going wide to the left. Tremaine releases Pembroke, who has uh, who has Brown pushing forward. An excellent pass there to Weber, nicely weighted, who finds Goads back to Warren, and Weber's angle pass again reaches Goads in the centre of the ground, and Goads with the reverse stick. Hack at that ball, very well executed, really, past the outstretched foot of Justin Morris, East's two goals to nil. Good sequence of play by East. Weber involved a number of a number of times. Ball gets across to Goads. Goads one times it into the net. East go up two goals to nil. 14 minutes into the first half, it comes out nicely. It is well released, but well defended by Casey Lee for East. And Kedron looking to looking to transfer, but Weber puts it to the advantage of Josh Davies. Davies with the shot. His slap is deflected just wide of the box. And by it's another turnover going forward. And Shaw with possession back to Pembroke sees East come away with it. Boyd leads back towards the ball. He's got plenty of support. Farrell on his reverse stick side finds Weber. Weber's deflection just wide of the box. Fuller, who concedes the free hit immediately, and Morris selects to play it on. Has support from Weber out wide. Weber getting it only with one hand on the stick. It's back with Boyd deep in the circle. Boyd looks for a teammate, and the shot... 25 minutes into the first half with the gun. Jake Weber off. Let's see what they can do. As they line up, it's Matt Pembroke with a shot at goal. The shot goes wide. Out wide and getting plenty of position, uh, position there on his man is Mackenzie Warren. Warren backs his skills to beat two and then three opponents. Carrigan tries to put it to the advantage of, I believe that's Josh Davies. Session for Kedron. But straight across the field it comes to Steele anyway, who's found plenty of space. His angle ball in to Buck. Beats the stick of Buck, in fact. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half, and it's East with a penalty corner. It's a little bit, a bit, bit wide. It's a shot at goal, the direct hit, but it is unsuccessful. It is still back in play. Another, another shot at goal from East. It's a desperate around the, around the circle for Eastern Suburbs. Ball comes out. Weber releases, and it is a goal. Straightforward, elementary stuff to Jacob Weber. Ball comes out well from the back line. It is trapped, and Weber releases hard and low to the goalkeeper's left. It's Eastern Suburbs, three goals to nil with three and, a half minutes to go, three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Ball again goes wide. It makes you think it may be a set play. The shot at goal is, uh, is shut down by the it's, keeper. And it's kept but on the whole, uh, they connected their passes. They just haven't quite uh, got the most of it. As we see Tremaine working forward, uh, almost getting a shot at goal. And if Kedron can get moving quickly here, they'll actually catch these sort of numbers up front, but they're not able to do so. As, um, as they, uh, they come away yet again, string a few nice passes together as it's uh, right an opportunity to have a shot at goal, but it's well defended by keeper Lee. But uh, Kedwin, another opportunity 
Another four into the circle. That are... Tremaine has Shaw overlapping out right wide, and Shaw has speed and skills to beat his opponents. Gets it into the circle, puts it to Boyd. Boyd comes across the f across the ground, but goes and makes the tackle at the top of the circle. Tremaine again into the circle to the stick of Morris. Morris's pass to Boyd is okay, but Boyd unable to by right for Kedron, who's back onto the ground. He obviously just received a two-minute infraction before. Goes with it on the back line to Morris. Morris is met by Morris, the keeper. He got a big push in the back from his uh, direct Kedron opponent. Um, umpire obviously didn't see that. And it's a loose ball. Uh, so he's Kedron with an opportunity. And a very physical um, physical tackle there. But a shot at goal now. And it is a superbly scored by Fossey for Kedron. That brings the score back to three goals to one in favour of East, but uh, we've got a game on our hands. We see the ball go into the circle, one shot at goal, straight past keeper Casey Lee, and after nine minutes in the first half, it is East, three, Kedron one. His right takes a free hit, but uh, straight to an East player, although eventually does win the ball back. Goes to Farrell, then out wide to Buck. Buck's angle pass, it finds, ends up with right in the centre of the circle. On the trap, we have uh, Weber lining up to release, and he releases. He releases high, and is well defended by Morris. And Roke with the trap at right fullback for East, and his ball wide to Wotherspoon finds teammate in space. Wotherspoon looking to inject. He runs the angle, takes on several Kedron opponents, and pops it in to Davies for East, who ends up winning the corner. And with 15 minutes to go in the second half, it's East with a penalty corner. Again, it goes uh, goes wide. Tremaine deflects or takes it takes the hit and takes the hit towards goal. It is deflected by I think that's Boyd into the net. Again, the ball comes out not entirely straight, and it, the number of times it happened makes you think it may or may almost be a set play. Tremaine goes wide and picks up the deflection of Boyd. East go up four goals to one with 14 minutes to go in the second half. East again to replay the penalty corner comes out straight. Weber releases. And it goes into the net, a carbon copy of the goal he scored in the first half. Straightforward corner on this occasion by East. Nicely inserted, well trapped, and Weber does what he does superbly. Scores the goal with a low, hard drag flick. So Morris uh, pointing out the umpire that uh, perhaps they had differing interpretations as right now for Kedron drives the ball forward. Opportunity for Buller. Buller has a shot at goal. Buller has another chance for a shot at goal. Well defended. It, Comes what well defender in the first instance comes back to Randall. So he's territory back to Farrell. Farrell wants the angled ball. He gets it to Brown, who deflects it straight into the circle. A number of East players have a go at a shot there, but well, most of the first half of this game. But he's back with the ball anyway. He runs the angle and opts for the transfer straight away to the overlap of Thorne. Thorne, however, he's ambitious uh, circle entry. He's uh, one of the East players, who've had, no, one of the Kidman players who've. Had a very solid game as East working the ball through traffic, but a, a sloppy pass sees that uh, back with Kedron an opportunity to go forward. Has a work one on one with the keeper, looking to eliminate the keeper, but good work by Casey Lee. With two minutes to go in the second and final half of this game, it's Kedron with their first penalty corner. Troop brings it in, it's well trapped. The direct hit a goal, and it is a superb strike by Tawindi. Straightforward penalty corner, it was well executed. Good insertion by, by Troop, well trapped and superbly struck by Twindy. With uh, less than under two minutes to go, Kedron scored their second goal. Still, I know uh, East have won this game quite comfortably, five goals to two, or win this game quite comfortably, five goals to two. But I'm I'm sure they'll be very disappointed with the way they played their uh, played the second half of this game. Uh, they'll be disappointed, I think, with the way they've uh, put their combinations together. So, Michael, five goals to two defeat, unfortunately, but it probably didn't reflect your team's effort in that game. Yeah, no, I don't think so at all, um, especially in that last ten minutes. Um, I think we had control of the ball a lot. 5-2 um, wasn't really reflective. We could have had a couple of opportunities and it could have been a lot closer at the end. It certainly could have been. Uh, you certainly really took it to East in that second half, particularly early on. Uh, was there much spoken about your first half performance and how you could improve? Yeah, at half-time, uh, Matty, our coach, had a bit of a talk to us. Um, told us uh, a few things we can improve on. Uh, we put him in, um, had a bit of a pumpkin in the end, but, you know, that's how it goes. 
yeah, it does somehow end up. What do you what do you make of your own game? We felt up in the box you did pretty well under a fair bit of pressure. Yeah, um, we had a bit of pressure back on the early coming out of the 16. So um, uh, at the end of the day, you know, we all put in the good effort and hockey's the real winner. And uh, where do you see your your side placed at the halfway mark of the season? Uh, I think we're uh, we're ahead of Bally's and Norse at the moment. So I think uh, if we get another couple of wins, we can stay ahead of them. Uh, I'm not sure how far away the next team is, but um, we can consolidate our position, I think. Five goal to two win, uh, just did enough to get to get the score on the board. Yeah, we did today, yeah, just enough. Second half, a little bit disappointing, you know, after a three nil result in the first half, you know, but you know, we got the result and we, you know, we got the three points, so I'm happy with that, yeah. And uh, we understand you had a fair few players out tonight. Where do you see the key improvements coming from as the season progresses? Oh, we get all the boys back next week. We're missing seven tonight, key players, so, you know, when we get them back next week, hopefully we get a run of them for a few weeks at least and then Continuity will come back in the whole side, so it'll be good. Yep. And uh, which players particularly impressed you this evening? I was very impressed with our left half, Jared Brown, and uh, Mackenzie Warren stepped up tonight as well. So a couple of the younger guys there, and that was really good. And we had a few guys backing up from second grade, which was a great appreciation tonight too. Yep. You guys seem to really put a premium on possession, particularly amongst your back four and your defence. Uh, is that something you've been working on all season? Yeah, we pride ourselves. The defence is the key. And you know, when we hold on the ball for long periods of time and keep it away from the opposition, we'll, we'll get the results we want. Yeah. Okay, and uh, just going forward, we felt you may have been a little bit wasteful. Uh, is that being spoken about at, at any stage of the season, or is that just symptomatic of tonight's game? Oh, I think it was just we, we have been a little bit wasteful at times, but you know we 50 plus circle penetrations tonight for only five goals, and that's that's what let us down. But you know the forwards will keep working hard at training, and we'll, we'll hopefully get some more results next week. And uh, second on the ladder at the moment, you've got some uh, important clashes coming up. Um, so we certainly hope you can uh, carry some good momentum forward. Yeah, no, that win tonight, hopefully, will get us over the line to, with Labrador and um, Commercial having the draw. So we, we should get top of the ladder after the first round, which is good. So, yeah, happy with that. So. Hockey Zone needs your help. As we have no viewing figures for the TV coverage, we desperately need to find out how many people are watching so we can head in the right direction next year. Are you watching on TV for me? Community TV? Or YouTube? We need to know. Please take just 30 seconds to fill out the survey on our website. Just click on the survey tab in the menu, click the boxes that represent you, leave us a message and hit submit. But we need every viewer to fill it out. If there are five of you in your house, do it five times. If you've only watched once, still do it. If you want to continue to watch Hockey Zone, you must fill in the survey. Don't wait, do it now, before it's too late.